So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can speed up or increase your system performance. Like you are using your system from very long time and you are feeling like system is become very slow or maybe you haven't shut down your system from very long time. Then maybe you missing lots of performance from your system. So in this video, I'm going to clean my C drive or some other kind of cache data which can increase our system performance. And I will also do some setting which can also improve your system performance to next level. And after that, if you are facing like low FPS problem, like system is freezing or it is not working as I wanted. Okay, so first thing you need to clean all kind of temporary files like temp or person temp and I will also tell you what are the differences between them, right? Just press window plus R key to open this run command or you can directly open like right click here and click here run. Now just type here temp. So these are the temporary file which is created by windows itself like whenever you update something or your windows is automatically doing in background something. Thing. so these kind of temporary files created and these are useless after that task so why are you still keeping them in your system just delete it right click here and delete it. check this box and continue and again check this box if you see this message because this file is currently is being used right again you need to open this run command and type here percent temp percent so these temporary files is created by your apps like whenever you open any apps or you installing any apps or any app which is required to create these kind of temporary file in your system select all and right click and delete so that is the difference between these two temporary files right now again you need to open run command and type here prefetch so prefetch is also containing some temporary files which requires to open your apps more smoother or more quickly right so sometimes this catch can be very very huge and can slow down your system performance it is safe to delete right just select all right click and delete search here create restore point maybe you are creating any restore point so after creating restore point again and again so this can be a very huge amount of data so select your c drive and click here configure and now you can see in my case it is currently using 4 gb and it can go to 10 gb right so now you can delete it like just click here delete and click continue and close it you free up 4 gb space here now it's time to clear some cache of your file explorer. Yeah, file explorer is also have cache data, right? So if you do this, your files and folder will open very smoothly. Just go into view section and click here option. Click here change folder and search options. And now here you will see this clear option. Just click here clear and that's it and click OK. Nothing happened but in background it happens a lot. Now you need to go into this PC. Just right click here and go to properties. If you are using Windows 10 or 11, it doesn't matter. Windows 11 is also same so just click here disk cleanup once in a month you need to perform all these steps if you want to run your system very smoothly so check all these boxes and inside you can see recycle bin also have 13 gb space okay so this is also going to clear recycle bin so just click here ok and delete files now we have cleared it and again click on disk cleanup click on this cleanup system files So here you can see windows update cleanup it's 3 gb so if you recently upgraded to windows 11 or updated to new windows version so do not check these box otherwise you will not be able to roll back so these files is just for rolling back your system if you don't care about like going back to previous version then you can check this so this is going to delete your windows.old folder it will free up more space in your system okay so check these and you can see here temporary windows installation file is 5 gb i'm going to check all these boxes boxes here and now you can see it is going to free up 9 GB space so click here ok and delete files Now we have clean our C drive and this disk cleanup is also removing malwares, right? You don't know about it, but yeah, it removes, right? Now you can see recycle bin is still not empty. So just right click here, empty the recycle bin. Now you can see it becomes 81 GBs, right? Now the thing is just go into this download folder or document folder or desktop, whatever you have here. So what you can do here, like uh, you can move all these data from download to another drive. 
so just free more space as much as you can so whenever you free up more space in your c drive it is going to perform very very smoothly because whenever you load more data in your c drive it is going to take lots of time to organize them right next thing what you can do here to free up more space like you have unwanted game which you are not playing then you can just simply uninstall them let me show you how you can do it just go to setting in setting go into apps so you can just sort these apps by its size just click here size and now you can see got a war 64 gbs because i play this game so that's why it is here but yeah if you have any unwanted apps but i'm not using this software it is taking 816 mb so click here uninstall and it is going to free up more space in your drive it will help you to run your system very very smooth so that's how you can find some other app which you're not using just remove them and at the same time you can see here startups mostly all the apps is off and you can also turn off these lively wallpaper so just turn all these off which will help your system to boot faster so that's how you can speed up your system as well another thing you need to perform optimization of your drive so type here optimize drive so you will get here defect and optimize drives open it just select this c drive so I have this ssd so ssd can't be optimized or you can say defragment this can only be trimmed if you have ssd or std you can just select them and click here optimize so basically this will help you to increase your system performance after optimizing it is going to work perfectly right okay so just close it and after this you need to just go here and restart your system after restarting just to use your system for 10 to 20 minutes after that come back to this video and comment down like how it is working in your system and i'm 100 percent sure it is going to speed up your performance so okay guys thank you so much for watching this video